Hello there, welcome to Abertay University and the Centre for Excellence in Games Education. My name is Ryan Locke, I'm the Head of Centre and I'd like to take you inside for a quick tour to show you the facilities, the spaces and some of the activities we got going on today. Lovely to see you all, come on inside. Hello again, welcome inside. This is the atrium for the Centre for Excellence in Games Education. What we're gonna go do is go inside, take a look at what's going on today. We're actually setting up for the degree show for the graduation of 2025. But before we do that, I'd like to show you some of the spaces and places that we have inside uh, for our master's students and of course our undergraduate students. Tutorial spaces, master's dedicated desks, and some of the people you might meet while you're here. Anyway, follow me. One of the first spaces that I'd like to introduce you to is our master's studio. Typically this would be used by our master's students on the MPROF programs and the MSc in Tech Arts and Animation. Now right now as you can see we're actually setting up for a degree show so it's full of activity and life but typically what we normally do here is a bit more of an industry simulation type situation. Mostly in our games program or sorry our game development program or MPROF um, and actually there's someone better to talk to about this than there is me, so I want to introduce you to one of my colleagues, Kaylee McLeod, who's actually one of the program leaders on the MPRO for Games Development. So, Kaylee, lovely to meet you, and lovely to see you again. How are you doing today? Right. Excellent. I'm doing well. I'm just uh, here to tell our friends a little bit more about the MPRO in Games Development. Um, well, excellent be, news. I can tell you all about it. Yeah, um, so the master space, um, it, it's as you see here. Um, it's our cool kind of in-studio um, simulation space where we try to create the sense of what it would be like to work in the industry in a studio with uh, multidisciplinary. So that's all about the ethos of what the master's program is. So um, it's a multidisciplinary year-long master's degree course where people get to develop their soft skills and their technical skills on what they would need to learn to be in the games industry. We also work with uh, games companies who give us briefs and help support our students, as well as um, external companies like the VNA and safety companies who also help support and give us um, applied games practice as well. So we're not just looking at what things students need to learn in terms of working in the games industry, but also looking at it from a research perspective as well. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Kaylee. I'll leave you alone for now. I'm going to go play some games. <laughs> Good stuff. I'll join you later. So there we have it, folks. Ultimately, the MPROF in games development is most about industry simulation, working on real-world briefs set by industry clients, or even setting on research-based clients' briefs for things like uh, applied games and serious games, something that we take uh, wonderfully seriously here. One of the next spaces that I'd like to show you is the PlayStation 5 Development Lab. Outside of London, this is actually the biggest PlayStation 5 Development Lab in the whole of the UK, so it's worth taking a look at. So come on in this way then, please. Alright, so this is our 35-seater PlayStation 5 development lab. I'm joined by my colleague, obviously, Mr. Gareth Robinson, um, and we're going to talk to him in just a second. But first of all, this is one of the many spaces that we have for delivering tutorial content, workshops, master classes, and one of the things that we like to do here at Abertay, of course, is to task students to do work-based uh, work learning, I should say, uh, and group-based tasks, of course. Now, I'm going to go speak to Gaz. Gaz, Thanks for joining us today. Um, this is uh, my friends um, from all over the world watching this today and ultimately we're just trying to tell them about what we do here um, and I was hoping you would give us a little bit of an overview of this space and maybe a little bit about CGAT or CGT. Thank yeah. you very much. So, so this is our primary game development lab where we have a room full of high-end PCs where our game engineering students on computer game technology and computer game applications development will work directly on the GPU to build the latest you know, graphics programming techniques, things like ray tracing and sign distance fields, all the stuff that's powering today's modern game technology and engines. We also, as Ryan said, have a room full of PlayStation 5 de development kits provided by our friends at Sony Interactive Entertainment. Uh, this stuff is not available to the general public, it's quite exclusive access here, so it gives our students real-world experience of developing things directly on a console like you were doing in the industry. So we're, we're pretty excited about all the stuff that we have here, um, technology-wise. 
Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Um, look forward to seeing you tonight at the grad show. And uh, we'll move on. Next thing we're going to go check out is we're going to go speak to Jung In, who is at the Viper Studio right now. A uh, really interesting space. And uh, follow me, please, and we'll see what it's like. Well, hello again. We're recording. Only joking. Come on inside. I want to show you the virtual production research environment or Viper Lab, one of our awesome new spaces that we've been using for mocap and other things like virtual production. A lot of cool things happening here, but come on in. It's easier if you see it for yourselves. Anyway, um, I'm joined here by my colleague Jung In, who's here to show off some of the unique spaces that we have and give us an overview of the MSC in uh, UI and user experience and tell us a little bit about how this space is used and what you do in here. Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, so this studio we are using as a motion capture studio, as Ryan introduced. So we have Vicon uh, motion capture system. So as you can see, there are all these cameras uh, tracking the suit with the pins over here. So as you can see that now the system is tracking my colleague Hao Cheng's movement. And as well as the hammer, Hao Cheng is holding and we applied a model which is shown as a sword <laughs> at the moment. So imagine you can use this system um, for your game, own game development, but also to train um, movement data um, for your AI UX project. And this is another uh, suit, which is called Tesla suit. And this can also do the motion tracking. Um, but this one doesn't need all these cameras to track the motion. So as you can see, that it's now tracking my motion here. So, hello, hi. <laughs> um, so we have this NVIDIA H100 uh, cards for GPGPU compute. So if you want to train large movement data set, like using this kind of motion tracking system, or maybe any other uh, models such as large language model, which is the most popular thing at the moment, and you can use that uh, that NVIDIA card as well. So that's it for me. Perfect. Thank you very much, jong -in. You have a good day and hopefully see you tonight at the grad show. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> All right. So folks, what we're going to do now is we're going to go upstairs and check out some of the other teaching spaces and facilities that we have on offer. I'd love to take you inside today to see the Emerging Technology Centre, but it's one of those rare places that I can't let you, because actually we take part in a lot of protected research here at Aberté, whether that's with industry, whether that's with government, or whether that's with other research facilities. The Emerging Technology Centre is actually a space developed solely for staff and research assistants to work in quietly on interesting technology-driven advancements and research in wonderful technology-driven th themes and subjects. All right, again, so that's us on level two now. Originally, this was the Center for Excellence in Games Education, but since we've expanded to include two floors, we actually have grown in size over the last few years, but it's still worth having a look at, and there's some really interesting things in here. So come on with me. As I was saying to you, is today's actually the launch of our degree show, and we're gonna have a big celebration tonight. I'm gonna to have a wee wander through here, just so you can see some of the, what's going on more than anything. And then we're gonna check out one of the teaching spaces beyond here. Come on with me. This is one of the many spaces that you can expect to learn in when you're at Aberté. One of the core uses of spaces like this, as I was saying, software demonstration, uh, project work, uh, master classes, guest speakers and guest lectures. Uh, and one of the things that we like to do in spaces like this is actually you know, make use of it more than anything, keep it busy and let students use our high spec machines, dual monitors, and of course to work on games projects, VFX projects, and of course film animation, and TV projects. You've caught me doing what I love best, digital drawing and painting. I'd like to give you a tutorial today, but we just don't have the time. Instead though, what I'd like to do is introduce you to one of my favorite teaching spaces, the Wacom Cintiq Lab. Um, and this is a wonderful space for teaching things like concept art and design, digital drawing and painting, the fundamentals of design drawing, and things like animation, 
uh, the material authoring and of course 2D animation. It's a wonderful space. Our students since opening in September have really enjoyed using it and we can do some really wonderful projects in here. In the summer of 2024 we opened up what we call the Competitive Gaming Lab. This is a space where you can test games, play games and figure out why and how people play computer games. In order to do that we've had to kit it out with the latest gaming machines technology, the latest graphics cards and of course great screen technology and accessibility and peripherals and issues that kind of help people play or help them understand how better to play. One of the things that we want to do in here is understand essentially the psychology of games, the I guess the mechanics of games and of course even the motor issues related to games. It's an interesting research space, it's an interesting play space and it's also an interesting experimental space and we're looking forward to seeing what students do with that in the years to come and of course students can actually book this out um, evenings and weekends and of course we're going to start doing classes in here in the uh, years ahead so looking forward to using this brand new facility and seeing what we can do with it. Thank you very much for joining me today and seeing some of what we have to offer here at Abertay University. It's been an absolute pleasure showing off some of our facilities, but the most important thing of all is to see you on campus from September. We'd love to have you and come and join us and help us make the future of games and the future of entertainment right here in Dundee. Thanks again and I'll see you another time. See you later. Hi there, my name is Carl van der Scheef and I'm the program leader for the MSc Ethical Hacking and Cybersecurity and we're going to take you through to our ethical hacking lab or hack lab and then that net lab. So this lab over here is what we would be referring to as our net lab. Um, both labs, this lab and hack lab next door are pretty much the same. They are uh, different from the rest of the university labs. So if you were to study, um, let's say computing, those labs are maintained a little bit differently from these. What makes these labs unique and also for the postgrad studies is we image them very differently. The students have full control over how they image and what they load. In fact, they have full admin access on the local machines which makes the Abate approach unique in that we take an offensive approach. Uh, we believe the student needs some freedom to explore, install what they want, hack, play around. Um, often when we do open day talks, we'll refer to it as a hacker's playground. And these labs are facilitating that process. Uh, often with the modules, uh, specifically ethical hacking modules, you would be um, hard pressed to find a visual element to it, but there are some props that we use. Um, I say props, but they're mostly actually quite core to the module. This, for example, is what we use in the digital forensics module, where we simulate a seizure of a suspect's hard disk. And we've got this device to simulate a write blocker, and every student gets a, a kit like this to image, and we practically show them how to seize evidence from suspects. Right, so this lab here is the twin of NetLab. We call this Hack Lab. It's similarly set up. Um, the machines have been new newly refreshed. They've got about 32 gigs of RAM. They're pretty powerful i7 computers. Uh, we don't uh, require students to have a powerful personal machine or a laptop to actually take any of our postgrad courses. That will help them, but it's not a requirement. Um, and in fact, in some cases, I know for, for, for digital forensics, which is what I teach on, I provide them with a virtual machine which they can run on their own machine if they do have one that's powerful enough to run it. Um, but I think that's really important and sets us apart from the other universities which do require um, students to buy quite a hefty setup. The MSc Ethical Hacking and uh, Cybersecurity Program also caters for part-time students as well as full-time students. Now, these facilities are set up for the full-time students, but that doesn't preclude the part-time students from um, enjoying the same benefits as their full-time counterparts. In fact, we provide a virtual hack lab, so virtual machines in many of the modules for two students, uh, which they can download. And in fact, the, the new cohort of part-time students that's taking 
or, or participating in the second year, um, I will be sending them a disk with all the virtual machines and data on that that they need to participate. Thank you for joining me here at the labs where we teach on the MSc Ethical Hacking and Cybersecurity. I'll pass over to Matt and Phil who teach on the Technical Arts and Visual Effects program. Hi, I'm Philip Vaughan and I'm the program leader of the MSc in Technical Art and Visual Effects here at Aberdeen University. And I'd like to show you our cutting edge facilities here at Water's Edge, so follow me. I'd like to introduce you to Matt Bett, my colleague here at Aberty, and we're going to just tell you a little bit more about the facilities in the course. So I'm Matt Bett, I'm a lecturer in virtual production here at Aberty University and the head of studios for the CoStar project. And what we've been able to do over the last several years is really put together this package of facilities that's coming in this studio, which has the latest LED wall technology, high-end processing graphics cards and technology geared towards virtual production and the latest camera and tracking technology all in one package in this medium-sized virtual production studio. What that allows us to do is research and projects associated with that but also offer our students as part of the new master's course the ability to do tremendous practical work as part of their learning. We really pride ourselves on project-driven work here at Aberty, so our projects are always based in reality. Uh, we work with industry partners, we're working with the latest cutting-edge tools and technology and software and hardware, and we really try to instill in our students a professionalism uh, that makes them ready for industry. We pride ourselves here at Aberty in being industry facing and our facilities are of such a high standard that we have students who walk straight into high-end jobs in VFX, animation, film, TV and other related industries. So please come and join us in Dundee. I guarantee you have a great time and you'll make some amazing content.